Welcome back. Well, today I'm joined by John Hovanesian, Dr. John Hovanesian, who is here on behalf of Harvard Eye. Well, thank you for joining me as always. It's always great to see you, Lisa. Happy summer. It's here with us now in full bloom, isn't it? I know. I know. I did a little thing on summer solstice. So we're, you know, we had that one day, you know, it was a little bit longer. And now we start to go the other way. But you and I talked off camera talking about how summer's just going to come and go just as quick as it always does. <laughs> but at least we're going to enjoy it outside and we're all going to have a great time. This is the time of year that passes by so quickly, it almost didn't even happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to try and hold on to it as long as possible because uh, we'll be here before you know it. Mm -hmm. Well, um, so this, today we're talking about laser surgery, but it's laser cataract surgery. So tell me a little bit about what's involved and why it may differ from what you have done in the past. Yeah, so a lot of our viewers are familiar with the idea of cataract surgery because it is one of the most common procedures that happens uh, to us as we get older. Almost everybody, if you live long enough, is going to get some cataract. And we have some pictures to help illustrate this. So the lens of the eye is in front of the eye. And uh, here it's uh, in, in the picture you'll see it's right behind the front curve structure and behind the iris there is a sort of a... a, a you know, a, a bean-shaped, uh, I guess, uh, structure that is the lens. And uh, light rays focus through it, and it becomes cloudy. Uh, instead of being beautiful and clear, like uh, in this next picture on the left, where it's, it looks uh, perfectly transparent, uh, over time it becomes yellow and brown in color, and it loses its clarity. And that's just a process just like when our, our hair gets gray. It's a lot of things that contribute to it. It has an effect on the light into the eye, instead of focusing nicely into a single point of focus, uh, it scatters a lot of that light, spreads it out, makes it hard to see things. Uh, that's, what a, that's what a cataract is. Right, right. And, and then when you use, uh, like what did you used to do before laser came out? Yeah, so um, a lot of people think that cataract surgery has, done with, has been done with a laser for, for years and years, and that's not true. Uh, traditional cataract surgery involves us going by the eye with um, and making uh, cuts in the eye by hand. Uh, it's not painful because you're sedated. Uh, if anybody who's been through a colonoscopy knows what sedation is like, it's an unpleasant procedure, but if you don't know about it, it doesn't bother you so much. And uh, this is, of course, on the other end of the body, and, uh, but also a scary thought to have someone doing surgery on the eye. But it's not scary because you're not aware and your eye is comfortable and not feeling pain. Uh, and uh, so we, we make open in the eye, uh, and then we break up the lens inside by hand and then remove it. We use instruments, precise instruments, to drive that. But um, with laser, before we touch the eye, a laser softens the lens inside the eye and makes the openings inside the eye that support the fine-tuned focusing of the implant with much greater precision than a human hand ever could. Uh, I'm a good surgeon but I'm a better surgeon when I have better tools to work with. And so there's no question there is an advantage. And, um, you know, if, if you look at some of the pictures of what we see through the laser, the lasers, it's not just a cutting instrument, it's a measuring instrument. And so uh, in the right hand uh, side of this picture, which kind of takes the eye and, and, um, and, and scans it, well, you can see that we can measure every aspect of and plan our openings in the eye and plan our treatment just with much greater precision than we could by hand. And then what that translates to is um, making those openings in the eye perfect um, shape and position and size. And that really does translate, uh, according to a number of studies, to a more precise result. Do you ever think that this surgery would go even further to robotics? Yeah, it is heading in that way. And I would argue that it already has. Uh, laser cataract surgery is like a uh, robotic version of this because the most precise steps of the surgery are being accomplished by a you know, robotic laser. Um, like most robotic surgery that we've seen in other fields of medicine, it's still guided by an experienced human. And you know, I think it's very, it's very easy to overstate uh, the benefits of, of laser. In other words, you know, I'm not saying and no one should say that this is a black and white difference. Uh, it's not like old cataract surgery was bad and this is good. They're both good, but this is probably better. And, you know, 
I guess the proof in the pudding uh, is that when I treat family members and doctors who come to me and folks who say, look, I want you to, to do use the best tools you have, I use a laser because I think that it's, um, it, it truly is um, uh, uh, incrementally better technology. Well, and like you said, precision is, is extremely key here because you're working in such a small, small area. Now, when, when somebody has this type of effect that's happening where it goes from the lighter lens to the darker lens, what are some of the effects that, that people would immediately know, but maybe they don't know, but they should be looking for? Yeah, that's a great question, Lisa. So, you know, one of the things that happens, and this is gradual, and it's usually both eyes over time, and so we may not know it is happening until it gets fairly advanced. Um, there's a yellowing in the vision. It, you know, the vision becomes more drab. Here's a picture of the same, you know, the same picture. We kind of photoshopped it to show the effect of cataract. The colors are kind of lost in the right-hand picture that simulates a cataract, and some of the detail is lost. Another picture shows the same lady, uh, you know, pruning her, um, doing her gardening, and you see kind of a haze over everything, like you're looking through a veil. And that's another common description of people who have growing cataract. But for a lot of people, the, the development of cataract is a slow declining of vision, and then quickly it kind of drops off over time. Right. And once that quick you know, decline happens, is, that's when they notice it. Um, and that's when we would recommend surgery. You know, can, can someone who has that clouding like that, can they look in the mirror and see it? That's a great question. In very advanced cataracts, um, sometimes if you look in the mirror, you'll see in the middle of the pupil with bright enough light that, and you see this in animals, uh, dogs who have cataract, you'll see this graying inside yeah. the pupil. Mm -hmm. uh, and this can be seen in some humans as well when it's advanced enough. Um, here in the U.S., we usually treat cataracts before they become too visible to the naked eye. Of course, we use instruments that help us see it much more quickly than you can without magnification and special, special instruments. Okay. All right. Great. So let's identify what, what you're actually doing when you're in there measuring. We, you have a picture that shows lots of different yeah. uh, lines and, and measurements, it looks like. Yeah. So, uh, you know, what you see on the right side of this picture is the front window of the eye, the cornea. In the upper right there, you'll, you see the, uh, you know, the cornea. And here, it's, you know, the, the laser is, is making measurements of, you know, sort of where it begins and where it ends and where the incision will pass through the tissues. Uh, in the lower right portion, we have, you know, measurements of where the lens is, what's the front of the lens, the back of the lens, how thick it is, how is the front of it, you know, uh, oriented to the eye. And then in the left-hand side of the picture, uh, you see sort of a front view of the eye, and you can tell this is a blue-colored iris. Uh, and that helps us to align exactly where we're doing some of the other uh, openings in the lens, in the eye, and, um, you know, in the softening of the lens that we, that we execute with the laser. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. And the other pictures just show different views of uh, the way the incisions are made inside the eye. Wow. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it, it is um, remarkable to us as surgeons who spent our whole residency learning how to do these steps by hand to have an instrument that can do them where simply, you know, you measure, you program, and you deliver the energy. Um, there's a cost for laser. I think that's probably the single biggest consideration for people because fortunately, um, you know, the treatments that we do with laser are not uh, covered by insurance or by Medicare. Uh, and so there's out of pocket cost. And so it's, you know, it's one of those unfortunate evolutions in medicine where the best technology ends up having a cost that's not covered. And we don't like that. Uh, we, we, we think it should be covered and we would favor that, but uh, it's just not, uh, you know, basically Medicare sets the rule for what's paid for and, um, and then all insurance companies generally follow that same rule. Right, right. Well, hopefully going forward, maybe they can sort of catch up. We would hope so. <laughs> we would hope so. <laughs> all right. In your last slide, uh, what to me looks like an egg yolk is <laughs> certainly not that. Yeah, so what you see there is the, you know, the image of the eye after making the opening in the front of the capsule. So this is the, the red you see is like the red eye you get from a camera flash. You can see it's a, you know, a, an eye that's, um, uh, you know, uh, blue and iris color. And if you see inside the, the blue circle is a tiny circle that's almost transparent within the orange area there. And it's a little hard to see, but that represents the opening of the lens that was made by the laser. 
And there's a couple different views of that. And then in the bottom right picture, you'll see an implant that's actually in the eye behind that opening. Um, you know, that opening is like a, you know, it's a, it, it wraps around the lens except the area in the center where uh, the opening is for us to remove the lens pulp and to put the implant in. I see. Okay. I was trying to visual because it's hard for me to see the blue but now i see what you're referring to so all right excellent yeah. well that is really interesting and i and i love the pictures this is awesome well thank you so much for the information well it's great to see you and uh and enjoy this summer weather we're getting yes i will and we'll see you again hopefully the end of the month of next month in the studio yes that'll be, I'll be awesome that's exciting okay thank you take care bye-bye and we'll be right back after this